Hi, this is Eddie with Access Property Management. Today we're talking about utility transfers. Uh, there are two parts, one for the tenant, one for the owner. For the tenant, uh, it's actually step three in our process, where after they've applied, they've been approved, we get a deposit, then we send out that utility transfer form. It's a DocuSign, they can sign it right online, and we provide phone numbers for the utility company, so we make it very easy. That tenant then returns that form to us once it's completed, and it'll have the move-in date on it. From there, I would send out the lease. Uh, we also confirm that the utilities were actually transferred. They have to put in a confirmation number, and when we call the gas company, the electric company, we read off that confirmation number to confirm they just didn't write in random stuff. Uh, after that, uh, the tenant moves in. The day they move in or the day before, we will actually transfer the water for them. So whether it's uh, Grand Rapids, Kentwood, Wyoming, whatever it is, we call the water department and transfer that over and we get a final water meter reading. Now for the owners, their part in this, uh, once that uh, tenant moves in, the owner will receive a final uh, electric bill, gas bill, whatever it may be, sent to their home. They need to make sure they pay that. Uh, after that, um, if the tenant does not renew a lease and they move out, We'll send the owner uh, two to three emails letting the owners know that hey, the tenant's moving out on this day. You need to make sure utilities are transferred back. Uh, we really follow up a lot more with this during the winter months. We don't want frozen pipes. Um, after that, the tenant has moved out. The property manager will actually call the water department and get a final meter read done so we can uh, bill that tenant for their water and also transfer that service back into the owner. So that is how we handle utility transfers uh, for the tenant and for the owners. Thank you for watching.